In these examples, we're trying to determine if these lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Um, so just a quick review. If you have two lines that are parallel, it means that they have equal slopes. Two lines that are perpendicular would have slopes that are opposite reciprocals. And then if they're neither, so they're not parallel or perpendicular, then their slopes won't be equal or opposite reciprocals. So pretty much anything else. So I'm going to say not equal or opposite reciprocals. Okay, so let's go back to number three here and let's take a look at this problem. So the easiest way to tell what the slope of a line is is to put it into slope intercept form. Slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So what we're going to do for each of these is we're going to solve it for y and then we'll identify what's the number that's next to x that will be our slope. So let's take a look at number three. Um, the first thing I, I need to do in order to get y by itself is get the x term on the other side. So I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides. That leaves me with negative 12y equals negative 6x plus 24. The next thing I'm going to do is divide everything by negative 12. Now I know it looks like I'm dividing by negative 12 once on the left and I'm dividing by it twice on the right. It looks that way, um, but what, what I'm doing is really just dividing both sides once by 12. It's just that I separated it into two fractions. All right, so this cancels out, and I have y equals negative 6 over negative 12 reduces to 1 half. So I'm going to write this as 1 half x. And then 24 divided by negative 12 is negative 2. So I would have negative 2. And this would be my... Um, equation in slope intercept form. And what's really important to pay attention to is this one half right here. That's the slope of that line. Now let's do the same thing, but for the other line. So I'm going to subtract the x term. And I have 2y equals negative 4x plus 8. Now I divide by 2. I have y equals uh, negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. So here is my equation for the second line. So I'm looking at my slope here, and that's negative 2. So I have three choices here. Uh, they are not equal. 1 half is not equal to negative 2. So parallel is out. It could be opposite reciprocals. They are opposite signs. And even though it doesn't look like it, 1 half and 2 are actually reciprocals because if I take negative 2 and put it over 1 and I flip it, that does become 1 half. And then with my opposite sign, that means they're opposite reciprocals. So the answer for my first question here, number 3, is that these two lines are perpendicular because their slopes are opposite reciprocals. Now let's look at number 4. Number 4 is halfway done for us because if you look at that first equation, I can already see the slope is 3. That one's already in slope-intercept form. So all we have to do is put the second equation in slope-intercept form and we're done. And this one is actually halfway done for us. All we have to do is get rid of this 2. So I'm going to divide everything by 2, and I have y equals 3x minus 3. Now if you look at the number next to the, the x, it's 3, which matches exactly with the 3 from the first equation. So since these two things are equal, that means that these two lines are parallel.